So today I want to show you an interesting way you can create melodies by using LFOs and as you can see we will use the note grid for this. I have here an empty patch, everything just goes through the gates, the pitch, right? I have here also a short clip so if I hit play, right the gate and the pitch are just going through and the idea here is to sample the shape of an LFO and convert it into pitch information. For this we will need of course an LFO, we'll just use this simple one and for sampling it we will use sample and hold, this will be under level. Right now I keep mentioning this and I will say it again, sample and hold is often used to create random signals or random values but there is nothing really random about a sample and hold and it will really much depend on the signal we use with it. So again in this case it's an LFO so we won't necessarily get random values. The LFO will go to the sample and hold, maybe I will zoom in a bit. I will also use an oscilloscope just so we can see more or less what's going on, right? The sample and hold will go to the oscilloscope and let's make it a bit bigger. Now we need a way to tell the sample and hold when to sample the LFO, when to take a snapshot of this LFO and output the respective value. For now we will use another LFO, right? I will set this to a pulse wave and use it to trigger the sample and hold. Now, just for now, I will disconnect the gates and the pitch so nothing will play. And now I will hit play and you can see on the oscilloscope, nothing really changes. And that's because uh, both LFO, uh, LFOs have the same rate, right? They are both set exactly the same, right? So they are basically not moving but if I will set, for example, the gating or the triggering LFO to 30 second notes, you can see on the oscilloscope a crude representation of the LFO, right? If I use also the LFO, we sample the triangle wave, right? You can really see this, basically a triangle wave coming out of the sample and hold, right? With each gate from this second LFO, the triangle wave will be sampled via the sample and hold, right? And we get the respective val uh, value at the time of sampling. Now, if I increase the rate of the second LFO, we can get even closer. Let me take out the triangle wave, right? And now I'm increasing the rate of the gating or triggering LFO. And you can see we get more and more the shape of a triangle wave. We increase the sampling rate and we get a better representation of the triangle wave. Right, let's stop this for a second. I will get rid also of the scope. Right, I will set the second LFO here back to quarter notes and let's start setting up the pitch. So again, we want this for pitch. So first of all, what I will do, I will use the pitch scaler connected to the sample and hold. And now we have a certain range of pitch information then we will use the quantizer and I will set my favorite set of five notes. So now we stay inside a certain scale and this will go now to the pitch output. Now we will still get nothing because we don't have any gates to gate our voice, to get our synthesizer. So I will use again the second LFO to gate also our voice. And now when I hit play, Right, we get the gates, but again, nothing really changes pitch-wise. And this is, again, because the LFOs are synced. They are running at the same rate. So we need to offset something. I'm going to offset the first LFO a bit, right, just by changing the number here next to the quarter notes. Right, and we get a sequence. I can also change the gating LFO to, let's say, eighth notes. So we get a quicker sequence. Right now, another thing that will affect this is the length of the notes we have programmed. I have both LFOs here set to re-trigger which means that with each new note, they will start all over again and restart basically. So by changing the length of the note here I have on the clip, 
we can get a different result. For example, if I want just a five step sequence, I can set five eighth notes. One, two, three, four, and then here we get the fifth one. Because each time the new note or the same note restarts, also the LFO will restart and we get a loop, a cycle of five eighth notes. Right, we can have also something like this. Let's say we have here three and then a short break and then we have another, let's say one, two, three, four and five. Right, so we have now two notes. Right, so we have an interesting or a more interesting sequence going on. Let's bring this back to what we had before. Right, and of course you can experiment with this. But now there are a few ways we can expand this. For example, we can add a probability to the gate. So we add a bit more space to everything, right? If I go here to random, we have the chance module. Right, so instead of having everything coming from the LFO, all of the gates will come from the chance. And now let's say, for example, about 75% that the gates will actually, first of all, gate the sample and hold, and also gate the synthesizer, gate our voice. Right, so again, we add a bit more variation. We have a bit more space. We can also use something different altogether here instead of the LFO and the chances. For example, we can use the gates module, right? So this will trigger or gate the sample and hold and we'll also gate our voice. Right, so now we have even a different result. I'm going to change this to pulse just so I can have also successive notes. Right, also here you can add probability, you can add randomness to this. We can also use something a bit more complex instead of the LFO, so we can sample a more complex shape. For example, if we change these two curves, we have here something a bit more complex. Right, let's choose a different wave, let's go with this for example. Right, and make this a bit slower, let's say one bar. Right, so now again, we have something a bit more complex. We have a bit more variation, a bit more uh, changes in sequence. Scaler. Let's go up to G4 even. Right, and there are many more ways you can control this and create variation, but this is the basic concept. We use an LFO, we sample it with a sample and hold, and then the ratio between the LFO and the gates will very much change the result. The length of the note you have programmed will also very much change the sequence. And you can go on and create all sorts of variation with this relatively simple setup. Just for fun, I have here some drums and a bass. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers.